Hey, yo. Um, today we're going to take us a little... Oh, hell, I didn't mean to do that. Today we're going to take a little field trip into a not-so-distant past at the hog's trough and see where the hog was rolling and pooed this particular day. You got it. We are going to Amber Lynn's hog trough slop days in the past. And y'all, she is noticeably and considerably smaller in this picture right here than she is now. Hey guys. Hey Porcarina. You didn't know at that time that you done this video that you were gonna have a nickname Porcarina, did you? Y'all excuse this shirt. It is wrinkled to high heaven and back. I have been tutoring and or I went to get tutoring and pre calculus algebra this morning and I came home and changed clothes and just threw on whatever and that's whatever I'm wearing. All right, get with it, Pork Arena. Welcome to my channel. Okay, listen. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm a single freaking Pringle. Oh, girl. And today is, I don't have my reading glasses on. I think it says the 12th of February. Oh, sugar dumpling. Yeah, it is because Friday is, uh, Val not Thanksgiving. Friday is Valentine's Day. Sugar dumplings. Um, I ain't so sure you ain't single today. I still haven't. Ever since me and Lizbeth talked about wondering if she and Becky had broke up and Becky has not been on video and Amber said that Becky said she didn't want to be on any videos. Girl, is you single again? Starbucks coffee cut or whatever you call it. Not sponsored. Homemade sweet tea. Good. Get with it, Boo Bear. Um, a month ago, actually yesterday, I got my heart broken. And we're going to celebrate Valentine's Day together. And I'm celebrating it by drinking by myself. Um, I already started filming this video and my camera fell. So I already poured it. I'm sorry. Like, hey, I haven't drinking any of it yet. It is literally just barefoot. Sweet red blend. Yes, yeah, okay, so I don't want the brand. anyone to get like, oh my god, Amberlynn, are you an alcoholic? Cause no, I'm not. Like, I don't drink. Girl, it take you a, a case of twenty four cases to get drunk off of that, as big as you are. That often, and I know a lot of people are gonna like hardcore hate on me for this video, but um. Y'all, this is bad when she used to wash her hair. Look how clean her hair looks, and looks nice. Girl, you don't have any self pride no more, dumplings. It's Valentine's Day. I'm alone. Um, and I figured. Who knew? Um, let's see. When was this made? In 2017, I think. Who knew? Uh, what? Three years later, that you were gonna look like a pig star. Let's drink. And who better to do it with than 32,000 subscribers? So. Wow, your subscriber count shot up a lot. My lipstick is on here. Girl, okay. you're the only one there. This Don't worry about really it. Good. Okay, so I love wine. Honestly, I really do. I love wine so much. I could do reds, I could do whites. It don't even matter. <laughs> Just give it to Ooh. me. Give it all. No, I'm joking. Um, I used to drink a lot of wine when I was living in Virginia, and I actually stopped. But now I was like, you know what? red wine a sweet red wine for valentine's day just seems really perfect and yeah i know so many people are gonna be like amberlynn you're in your bedroom drinking wine on valentine's day girl i needed a video and i was like this is perfect and um, there's nothing wrong with that there's a lot of single girls guys out there who do like valentine's day but they're kind of just like boo i ain't got anybody but i'm the same way 
So I went on the good old Snapchat and I told people to send me stuff. I said it can be about heartbreak. It could be about love. It could be anything. Just send me stuff Excuse and give me, me things to talk about for this video. Um, so I'm going to do that and I'm going to drink the whole bottle of wine. I don't know. Like, girl. Okay. And I might talk about Destiny. <laughs> you guys might get some some details of stuff. Destiny is disgusting. I wish you would leave Destiny out of all topics and videos. And I want to let you guys know that I am obese, obviously, but I'm very much a lightweight and I have not eaten all day. <laughs> I know every time I say that, people don't believe me, but you can ask my friends. Like, literally, I will not eat until, like, I want to say, like, four hours after I wake up, five hours even. I don't know what it is. It's really weird. So let's answer some questions. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm having serious doubts that it's that way today. So first one is, what would your ideal <clears throat> first date be? Okay, that really just depends. Like, how how long have I known this person? Like, did we meet online? Did Do we work together? Like, I don't really know. It depends because, I don't know. But I feel like a good first date for me is the movies. I know a lot of people don't agree with that because you want to, like, communicate with the person. But I feel like if you want to do that, like, go out to eat first and then go to the movies... I just feel like the movies is, like, a sweet place to go. I don't fucking know. Like, I'm so dumb. Or, like, go to the beach. I don't hear anybody disagreeing with you on the dumb comment. Is anybody over there disagreeing with her and her dumb comment? I ain't hear nobody in that corner over there saying nothing about you and your dumb comment. Nobody come to my front door and said, yes, she is, or no, she's not. Girl, we all on board with you on that one. I mean, I probably wouldn't because I'm too fat for that life. Next question. Hey, Amberlynn. So what would you do if Destiny brought a girl home for Valentine's Day? Like, they were on a date and you were there. Do you think Destiny would do that? Yes, no, maybe. Girl. Girl, would Destiny do that? I don't know. She surprises me lately. She'd probably do anything. Okay. Honestly, though, um, Destiny does have a girlfriend. Yeah, we're aware. Yesterday. Uh, I don't really know what to think. Like, everyone is like... Oh no, my. Shug, they didn't just start dating yesterday at the time that you made this video. They were meeting up while y'all were together. Don't be fine. Tell the truth. We already know. God, what is, what is even happening? Like, how is this even happening? I'm over here like... I don't know. <laughs> like, I am, like, literally, like, shocked too, but... Okay. If Destiny brought her over for Valentine's Day, what would I do? Honestly, I'd probably sit in my room and blare music that would annoy the crap out of them. Because I'm petty as fuck. I'm kidding. Um, honestly, I don't care. I mean, I do, but I don't. It's like one of those things where it's like, you want to be happy for your ex because you love your ex. You still care about your ex, but then you're like, bitch, why ain't that me? No, I don't know. I really don't know, but I don't think Destiny would do that, honestly. What are five tips you can give to spice up a relationship in the bedroom? And what are five tips you can give someone who is back dating? I don't know what back dating is, so I can't even give advice with that at all. But five tips you can spice up the relationship. Who am I? Like, why am I talking about this? Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I'm taking some It really out. depends on the person. I'm just going to go by, like, what my friends have told me and maybe possibly what I've done, but that's a secret. Um, But, obviously, toys. <laughs> what is this video? Um, Toys. <laughs> Girl. Um, I don't know if you want to be like maybe a little if you're like used to being like super gentle and like sweet like maybe roughing it up a little bit like girl 50 shades darker though no i still haven't even seen that yet like oh i ain't on that bandwagon that's something ain't nobody in our house wanted to see y'all can all have that movie to yourself the books to yourself um or if you're used to being rough try to be more like sweet i don't know like some lingerie uh, role playing. Role playing. That's a good one. 
I bet. Oh, um, Destiny played a lot of men's roles with you. She looks like a little man. Um, I really don't know. Maybe some wine and some rose petals. Like, I have the worst advice in the world. Hey, Amberlynn, I'm just wondering how you're coping with this Valentine's Day. Um, I've been single for five months, and today has just hit me really hard, and just want some advice from you. See, this is exactly where I mean. What the hell? She's seeking advice from her? Ew. Making this video because a lot of people don't like to show it. Like, oh my gosh, it's Valentine's Day. Like, I don't give a fuck. Anti Valentine's Day, whatever. But it's like, people do care sometimes. I need to chug some of this. <laughs> Just be real. This video is not going to be forever long. It's pretty long. I think this is the one people's wanted me to react to, and I've been putting it off because it was so long. I know wine, you're supposed to like. Sip it real slow, but you know. There's a fucking sticker. Who Classy cares as long as you okay. wash the inside and the top? How am I coping? Um, not so great. No, I'm doing okay. Um, I, I know exactly what Destiny got her girlfriend for Valentine's Day, and it's kind of ironic because it is something that I wanted. Didn't you say they just started dating yesterday at the time you made this video? No, no, they were together before yesterday at the time this video was made. She didn't know that though, but it's just weird. Okay, let's do some more. Um, Y'all, we coming from the future on this one. And, uh, ugh, Destiny, ugh, I don't see that. I can't even see how Amber Lynn wanted to be with Destiny. Ooh. I feel like Fill it up some this more. advice is given way too much. It's way too cliche and it's probably really fucking annoying. Is she seriously putting but the court back in? Me, be your own Valentine, boo. Be your own Valentine. And I know it's just, it's not the same. And, um,. I don't know. I don't really know. I don't know if I'm coping. Actually, I feel like I'm pretty numb, honestly, because the fact that Destiny is already, like, loving someone else and, like, dating someone else and, like, considering them her girlfriend, it's hard for me. And it's like, it's fucking Valentine's Day. It happened the day before Valentine's Day. Like, it's been a month since we broke up, and I'm just like, boo. Girl, what? she was already romping with Dana before y'all broke up happening but um and i rarely ever see her anymore so to the people who are like everlyn like you need to like move out like we she's like never here so it doesn't even matter um how to get your crush to like you if you're not pretty girl i'm sure you're fucking gorgeous your username is zebra ninja like i'm right there with you um I'm supposed to be getting drunk, so I need to, like, I ain't feeling it yet. I don't know. Girl, you got a whole bunch of fat cells that's got to work around and, and get through to be able to make you drunk. Did you buy more than one bottle? You guys tell me. Am I feeling it? I don't even know. Okay, I feel like my face is, like, super crazy right now, and I hate the angle. That's Girl, your face actually looks better right here than it does currently. Because you'd be looking piggly wiggly style, girl. You'd be looking like the piggly wiggly. This is that. But it is what it is. Okay, so how to get your crush to like you if you're not pretty? Okay, first of all, you are pretty. Everyone's pretty in their own way. Everyone's beautiful in their own way. And I firmly believe... Girl, I wouldn't go that far now. Oof. Destiny. Ugh. That if someone doesn't like you because of how you look, then they could fuck the fuck off. Really? People should like you for your heart and not your body. Just saying, boo. Hey, girl. What are your beat self love tips? Best tips to get over a breakup. Best tips to get over a breakup. Honestly, what I have noticed for myself. Ooh, these glasses Sorry. are dirty. <laughs> Who am I? Okay. What I have noticed for myself is. 
B, I'm, I feel like I'm going to get wine stains. Like, oh God, Just drink it. B, around people. And B, if you're getting drunk, you shouldn't be worried about wine stains. B, around things and like hobbies that you enjoy and that you love doing because like it takes your mind off of it completely. Okay, I feel like I'm starting to be a little bit. Let's be real. <laughs> um, <laughs> why did I do this? Like, I was telling some of my friends. Well, you quit pulling on like, your oh, hair. It's so fun to watch. And I'm like, okay. I might disable comments and I might disable thumbs up and stuff. But, okay, anyways. To deal with the breakup, definitely surround yourself with people that literally make you so happy. With people who... Uh, make you feel just awesome and on top of the world and like you're special and uh, music has helped me a lot. I know when Destiny first broke up with me, I wasn't into the whole music thing because every single song just like literally broke my heart into a million pieces. But in the last week, I have found so many songs that literally hit me where it needs to hit me and i will listen to them do i have makeup up here no okay i will listen to them on literal repeat like i bury that song to the ground and then i just keep burying it you know what i'm saying okay some of them songs consist of warrior by trisha paytas i fall apart by post malone that one is Probably my most played song recently. <sighs> Come on, get on to something else. Oh, God. If I knew I wasn't get copyright, I would literally <clears throat> play that whole song for you guys because that song, like, is 100% like me. Um, I Love You, I Hate You by Nash or whatever the hell. Um, I don't care about all this. Let's go. Hello by Connor Maynard. I can't really say his name. I know it's by Adele, but, like, there's this rap part in that in the cover that he did, um, that someone named Anth did, I guess. And, oh my gosh, literally me. Um, Back to Me by uh, Daya, or Daya, I don't really know. Um, I'm sure there's more, but yes, Come music on. has helped a great deal, which is crazy to me. What would be your ideal Valentine's Day date? Dinner, movie, surprise. Re- I thought old girl was going moo, but she said movies. You cute girl, you cute. Um. Okay, so like I said before, like I. Well, that- I didn't see her swapping right on your picture. Ugh. That was a first date. Well, it depends really but honestly like dinner I hate that my lipstick is on here like that is so gross like who am I um dinner and a movie to me would be probably and then we'd come home and smash <laughs> oh god um but I think Valentine's I feel like every day in a relationship should be super sweet and awesome like Valentine's Day every day bitch but it's just not like that like no relationships like that. Um, but, like, for Valentine's Day, for sure, like, super romantic. I would love some fucking roses. I'm good with that. Like, a teddy bear, some chocolates, a card. Maybe instead of buying a card, like, write me a motherfucking letter. Like, tell me, boo, how much you need me and love me. I'm a clingy bitch. Okay. Hi. I was just wondering what's the best Valentine's Day you've been on before. What did she say? Oh my gosh. Something about the best Valentine date you've gone yeah. before. Hi. I was just wondering what's the best Valentine's date you've been on before. Oh, the best Valentine's date. Okay. Honestly, <laughs> I don't really know. Like, my last three serious relationships, we all celebrate Valentine's Day every single day, every single time. By the way, this is my first Valentine's Day that I am single in 10 years. So... Cheers. I probably should have cheers first, but you know. So that's why this is kind of like crazy for me. You may as well be single now if you ain't already. 
So I don't know how you perform in anything at your size. Um, okay, so we're, okay. <laughs> um, I don't know. I feel like just any Valentine's date with Destiny would probably be it. Because uh, the love I have for Destiny is definitely the... Girl, you ain't with Destiny and anymore you've been broke up for a month she is now with dana which she was with dana before y'all broke up get over the old nasty destiny Ugh. strongest i've had don't you think it's hypocritical hypocritical about what destiny said about being single no hate all love you beautiful girl you beautiful um yeah no hate just love that's how life should always be just love all the time 24 7 hypocritical yes Girl, before we get into this one, she don't use shampoo and conditioner no more. She likes that all natural, greasy ass shit. Oh, you're so sweet. Okay, what shampoo and conditional, conditional, <laughs> oh, conditioner? She squealed. Okay, where did I go? Oh, I forgot where I put the wine. I almost just had a heart attack. Okay, that's not. That's Girl, you ain't had that much. Um, what shampoo and conditioner do I use? Um, I show. I hope you bought another bottle or two, cause you're about out, sugar. Put in a vlog. I already forget what it's called because, um, I used to use just whatever the hell. Like I would just get random kinds all the time. And um, that ain't what she asked. Dang! Look, that's all that's left. Let's get to the point. Um, I'm trying to put the cork back in. I'm sorry. Girl, it reminds me while I'm telling you to say it and get the point that my psychology teacher this semester said she gave us a, a thing to write. She said 400 words. She said, say what you mean and mean what you say and go on. She didn't want us wasting time on nothing. She want us to put down the facts and be done with it. Amber Lynn, give us the facts and be done with it. Okay, Porcarina. Okay, so... <laughs> I feel, like, itchy. I don't know what it is. Like, ever since I started wearing the foundation, like, I just get itchy more because I'm not used to it. My face is very sensitive, but I'll be all right. Um... See, I'm just, like, so itchy. Like, who am I? Or am I allergic to this? Either way, let's keep trucking. Okay. Mother I don't trucker. remember what it's called, but it's like Rue something. Rue. Fuck. I know it has argan oil in it. Um, Charla gave it to me because she said that she didn't want it anymore and she thought it would be perfect for my hair type. Obsessed with it. But I did vlog it. I haven't uploaded that vlog yet, but that vlog will probably be up tomorrow. Like, when you're watching this, I mean, I'm uploading this on Valentine's Day because it is Valentine's Day. Literally, today is Valentine's Day. I'm not even joking. Like, do I have the date somewhere? Yeah, it is in a couple of days again. Yeah, but I have some personal biznatch. Wait, hold on. Cover all this. The date. Oh, okay. What did I press? We press? trust you, Porcarina. Get with it. Says that I read it, so you have to reply. Okay, hold on. <sighs> I literally just sent filming. Like that's all I said. And if you're watching this, I know you're watching this, so much love to you. I'm so awkward. But yes, today is Valentine's Day, literally. So, anyways, I will upload that vlog tomorrow or the next day. I haven't been uploading daily, and I need to like get my shit together. Next. Hey Amber, describe a perfect Valentine's Day date. Happy Valentine's Day. Hope you're doing okay. Oh, happy Valentine's Day. I'm doing good. Okay. Um, I just answered that. <laughs> love you though, and I loved your shirt. That's so good. How'd you know you're in love with Destiny? In love with <laughs> you're what? So pretty. How'd I know I was in love with Destiny? Okay. Why does people keep bringing her um, up? I cannot be the only person that thinks destiny is just like, bleh. Bleh. 
This is getting real. This is getting deep. I knew I loved her. She said she loved me first, by the way. She sure did, really huh? Meant so much to me. She meant it, huh? But um, I knew that I loved her and welcome, my when glasses. she started to... Okay. I feel like I can't. Okay. I have drinking way too much, and I haven't eaten all day. Let's calm down. It'll be okay, Amberlynn. You're good, boo. Uh, okay, so I realized I was in love with Destiny when she said that she loved me. Like, I felt it back. And, like, it was during a very vulnerable moment. I don't have to get the details about that, but I'm sure I've shared it before. Um, and I realized that, like, when I couldn't stop thinking about her, and when I imagined my life with her, and when I imagined her taking, you know, every part of me, whether it was my heart or my bot, hey. Oh, um, God. Yeah. I just, I knew that she was the one. Is tomorrow the day I told y'all get my go to the eye doctor to get fitted for new lens? Because yeah, you can see it right there. It's this one over here, if you didn't notice, I gotta get it back where you can see it. Ah, oh, damn, there it is. It's cracked, and it don't go all the way to the bottom, but it does go into the little bifocal area. Which finger is that right there? Right in there where my thumb is. You can see the bifocals. And it goes down into it just a little bit. But I've told y'all before, these aren't really bifocals. They're reading glasses, and that's just glass at the top so I can see without having to take them on and off all the time if I'm wearing them. Girl, don't make me cry. But obviously she isn't because she has moved the fuck on, and I'm like... Girl, she was moved on when she was toes. with you. No, that's a joke. Um... But everything will be okay. Um, I don't know. Like, when you fall in love with someone, like, you just know it. And I just knew it with her. I don't really know. And a lot of people saw it. Like, physically saw it themselves. Like, my best friend Crystal, like, she saw it. She knows me more than anyone. Is me. this the one that you said raped you, Crystal, or is that somebody else i can't remember the name of the person you said raped you yeah that false allegation of rape this world and she saw it she's like you two are literally the one for each other um my friend charla like just so many people like they saw it they physically saw it and a lot of the time when you're in a relationship like some people don't see that like, we, like people don't care um so when destiny broke up with me everyone was very like shocked <laughs> including me and um i don't really know i gave her parts of me that i've never given anybody because i always told myself i'm gonna be waiting for the right person and for the right time but and everything with her felt perfect Um, I feel like I'm handling myself really well, though. Um, because I always tell her, I wish her nothing but happiness. And that's what she has with her new girlfriend. So, let's all be happy for her. It'll be, it'll be okay. It'll be okay. Hi, everyone. Wondering what's your perfect Valentine's Day Perfect Valentine's Day date. Everyone's asking that. Um, what will you do differently in your next relationship that you didn't do in your last one? Um, I forgot to take care of myself when I was with Destiny. I literally lost myself. I didn't know who I was as a person. Like, I thought I did, but obviously I didn't. Um, like I now? will be less, like... Y'all, she can't lose herself. Everybody could see her. She can't get lost. Damn, she can see herself everywhere. I see her. She, Kentucky's about that way from here. Girl, I see you up in Kentucky. Mm hmm. I don't know how to explain it. Like, I let my depression and just everything get to me more than like it normally would. And I feel like. 
I'll just do things differently. I don't know. There's like some personal things, but oh, we don't have to get into that. No matter how much I drink, we don't have to get into that. Your nails are so cute. Thank you so much. Are you planning on a girl's getaway anytime soon to get over the heartbreak? No, but, but Charlotte did invite me to Florida in October. Um, her and Mary are going to be driving there and they're like, Amberlynn, come the fuck with us. And I'm like, yes, boo. So that's happening. <laughs> Hey, Amberlynn, I love your videos. Should I be upset that my boyfriend doesn't want to do anything for Valentine's Day? Or should I just let it be? You are so cute. Let it be, she girl. She's the same name. She had it written on the thing, so hey. He may not have the money to go anywhere. Just let it be. I hate, you look young, girl. Let him. Just let it be. Just go with the flow. Do whatever comes about and it's natural let it go and don't do nothing just let it go boo boo um i think you should let it be because there are a lot of people who don't celebrate um valentine's day which is really weird but everyone's different why is it weird um, i mean why if somebody is dating or married why should they only do something on that one day. I mean, Beth and I do what we want to do all year long. We don't wait till Valentine's Day to do something. Yeah, I would just, just like let that be because I don't think it's anything to do with you. I think it's just his, you know, way of life. Which everyone's way of life is different. And Girl, I'm sure he loves you. Just get on with it. Hey, I'm just wondering when do you start, um, when do you plan on getting out there again and looking for love? Ooh, when do I plan on looking for love? Boo, I already found it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, I don't know. Like, I don't know. I really don't. Like, I'm just going to let it come to me because I'm done looking. Like, when I found Destiny, that was not... Molly's moving about. I was not looking at all, in the slightest. And she messaged me, and she was trying so hard, and I could tell because she called me, like, the cute little names. And Y'all, I can't get over Destiny and her mom and daddy or whatever it was, or mom, daddy and stepmom or something, going to pick Amberlynn up on the van. I mean, that's just weird. Let's make a family trip out of this. And they brought the family pet pig back. So the cutest little things. And for like two weeks, I would not like go into that. Like I was like literally just her friend because I wasn't ready. And then all of a sudden something hit me and I'm just like, boo, this girl's awesome. Like I want that to happen again where it's like love comes at you and you just don't expect it and you're like yes this is right like this is this is right because you don't want to force anything Ew. Whew, i am this wine though hello okay amberlynn i love your videos stay strong fuck what people say and find your own happiness i will forever support you and your channel no matter what remember that you're beautiful in every way have a nice day i love you fuck yes fuck the haters over the haters excuse my language like I recently discovered that there is more to life than hater. I'm over the haters. Hey, Amberlynn, I love you so much. I was wondering if you think love is a time limit on it. Like, you have to date someone for a certain amount of time in order to be considered very in love with them. Fuck no. That is a good question, though, because a lot of people, like, when someone falls in love, like, people are like, girl, that's too soon. Like, Destiny and her new girlfriend. That's me, though. Like... And ain't too soon, Sugar Dumplings. She was already with her. But you like to claim that she didn't cheat on you, but we all know she did. Stop it. I think I'm just being bitter and jealous and annoying, but that's just how I am. Um, but no, I don't feel like there's a time limit. I feel I like your heart just feels what it wants to feel when it wants to feel it. Um... Some people take forever to fall in love, and other people, like, 
Bro, I'm in love with you after two minutes. Hi. Hi. Um, I don't know. Holy, we're still at nearly 15 minutes. Time limit. I'm literally about to drink this whole thing. I'm scared for my life. Like, I know so many of you guys are like, girl, you are so fat. You should not be doing that. And I'm just like, you live once and Valentine's Day is only once a year. Happy Valentine's Day. My husband and I are celebrating our 10 year dating anniversary today. Yay, love. Oh, that's awesome. Happy Valentine's Day from this judgmental basset hound. Oh, my God. It reminds me of my old dog I used to have. Happy Valentine's Day, beautiful. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day to you. Girl, loving the lips and nails. Yeah? Is this good enough? Girl, I don't even know. I'm wearing no pants. Did you flip your hair back and check your nails? And did she just say she's wearing no pants? Fuck yes, I am. I'm celebrating it with myself and with you guys because I love you guys. You guys are all my Valentine. Like, hello. Hi. I'm the luckiest girl here. <laughs> that was a little girl. Okay, my favorite cartoon. I don't know if I have one. Like, I literally don't watch cartoons. I feel so, like, family guy. Girl, you say you don't watch cartoons, but now y'all watch all kinds of stupid crap. I, like, I don't know. <sighs> Hi, I'm Berlin. What is long? Do you want kids one day? And if so, how many? still don't. Holy on point. Your question just slayed my life. Yo, I'm trying to figure out behind her in front of that mirror right there with the wings. Is that a, a pig or a chicken? I don't know. Anyway, that girl asked too many questions. I don't remember any of them. I don't remember any Holy shit. Okay, I remember some. Um, do I compare myself for some reason that one stands Ooh, that one stood out the most. Do I compare myself with Destiny's new girlfriend? I do. Um because I question why wasn't I enough? Was I not pretty enough? Obviously not. I don't really know. Uh, whatever. Um, another question was, <laughs> how do I forget these? Oh, if Destiny wanted me back, would I take her? In a heartbeat, because, um, she's literally my everything, and I feel like she'll always be my everything. Becky, did you hear that? Ugh. Because I'm an unhealthy fucking bitch, and I don't really know. Literally and physically. Like, she's doing me wrong. I don't tell. I don't tell. I don't tell people. Um, that's not something I want to talk about, but I feel like I've done wrong. Like, she's doing me wrong. And I feel like it's whatever, though, you know? 
you need to get the fuck over it. Like, that's just what I keep telling myself. Nothing's going to change. Like, she got a new boo on her arm. I'm good. Um, I don't know what other questions you asked. I'm so sorry. I do want to say thank you so much for the questions because those were actually really good questions from what I remember. Damn. Hold on a minute. I'm going to message somebody real quick. We don't have time. <laughs> okay. That's me. Okay. Um, let's do another. What do you look forward to most on Valentine's Day? Now I look forward to absolutely nothing, but I used to look forward to just like a special day where it's like an excuse to like spoil the fuck out of your girl. Okay, my stomach hurts so bad. I've been eating all day, and now I'm, like, feeling so sick. It says, before sweet red blend is a smooth and sweet red wine blend. <laughs> Every word sounds so weird. With luscious aromas and flavors of black cherry and plum. Barefoot sweet red blend paired well with marinated flake stank. Stank? <laughs> Girl, you talking about your nasty flank, ain't you? Ugh. It stank. Flake stank. Gold. Grilled vegetables and all spicy treats. Girl, I'm right about that, like, empty stomach life. Like, I'm not eating. <laughs> Pork Arena. You just made your native sound. You snorted. <laughs> like, honestly, I probably should have, like, eaten. I feel like no one's even going to watch this far, so I fucking don't care. Oh, shit. Should I go on you now? I don't know what that is, but okay. Boo. What are the ingredients? People say red wine is good for you, so... Yeah, fine. I'm eating my grapes for the day. <laughs> red, red wine or whatever, whatever the ingredients are, it's just for sugar. sugar. I mean, yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's the same, but... Wine's what, fermented? <clears throat> I don't really like the dry stuff. I do like White Zinfandel, and there's another one that Beth and I get, and I can't think of what it's called, but it is really good. We've got some in the refrigerator right now, but I can't be drinking because I'm just have to drive. Okay, so my grapes today were smushed as a smoothie. Uh, oh, there's no ingredients. <laughs> That's government warning. According to the Surgeon General, woman, sh Surgeon General, comma, women should not drink alcoholic beverages during pregnancy. Did she just say woman's? Woman's? You mean women should not drink? Not women's should not drink? Women. You know what you are. A big... You're a big woman, though. Pregnancy. Because of the risk of birth cons- <laughs> Birth defects, who am I? Oh my god, you guys hate me right now. I love you all, though. I love you all, like, more than anything. Like, you guys have made this happen. Thank you. Okay. I mean, not this. You know what I mean. Consumption of alcoholic beverages impairs your- Ability to drive a car. Girl, I can't drive a car sober. Like, Has she ever had a driver's license? I mean, seriously. When I turned 15, I don't remember if I turned 15 on the Friday or if it was just one day during the week, but when I turned 15, my parents immediately carried me to get my driving permit. When I turned 16, they immediately took me to get my driver's license and I passed both the first time around. I know some people can't say that, but I can. Uh, and I've had a driver's license ever since. I just don't understand. 
I've been driving. Well, when you live in the country, I don't know how it is in a city. Your parents are kind of put you, well, they used to back when I was little. I don't know if they still do it now, but parents will put you behind the wheel and let you drive down the country roads. So I've been driving for quite a while. It just happens that way in the country. Or operate machinery and may cause health problems. Why well, I'm pregnant. I ain't driving. Girl, you be looking like you is. I'm just sitting. Um. Okay, let's do another question. This is a long video, and I'm like, no, nah. okay. No one can beat you. Okay. That's cool, because I work. Conversations you have with your cat, me. Put your hands in my face, I tell. I talk to my cat and my dog like they know me. We talk to our dogs like they're people, and they look at us and listen to us, too. When the conversation our own way, they do their own thing, and then when we get ready to talk to them again, they sit down and watch us talk to them like they know exactly what we're saying. Yeah, I guess you have to be an animal person to do that, but anyway. Hi, Amber. My question is, how do you know if someone likes you or not? Thank you. Love you. Boo. Y'all, hold on just a minute. Y'all, look who come to see us. It's Miss Molly Polly. Got a bad hair day going on. She needs her bath and brushing. She is such a cuddle bug. Java's not. Java bounces off the walls. I love this girl. I can't have kids, but if I could, they'd be rotten. Because this girl is rotten. I love her so much. It's going to hurt the day we are separated. Cause she's getting to be an old girl. She'll be 10 in April. I wish time would slow down. I love her so much. Oh, whoa, I almost dropped my phone. The best thing yeah, I can say girl. is someone likes you when they always want to talk to you. When they make the initiative to talk to your ass. Or they send emojis, like all the time, like heart eyes, kissy faces, and hearts. Or when they um want to hang out and shit. Oh, thank you. <laughs> or they compliment you a lot, like complimenting you is good. You look so happy and great. Happy Valentine's Day, Berlin. I'm doing good. So many people are going to comment and be like, Amberlynn, you are not happy. Why are you drinking? Right because turn? sometimes people drink. I don't really know. Oh, this is coffee. I went from zero to a hundred. Okay. You guys should listen to this real quick. Wait, I don't have Spotify on this phone. Fuck! I don't even have YouTube on this phone. Yes, I do. Listen to this real quick. I'm going to try to fast forward it. I fall apart. I fall apart. Let's fast forward it. I ain't want to hear some of Think it out loud by Ed Sheeran because... That was me and Destiny's song. So let's just mm -hmm. take a look at that. Wait, I have YouTube. Not on anymore. Her. Let's listen to it real quick. I don't want to hear it. She told me this is how it was going to be. The smile from the cheeks. I, I can safely say, say I am the wrong fuck. <laughs> I'm going to go on you now. I don't know what you know. What is. the fuck? Not. I'm slamming right now. Alright, I love you guys. And it happened. I got drunk. I was telling, like, this girl. I, 
I messaging a girl? And it's like complicated, but we don't have to talk about it. What's her um, name, Becky? I told her, like, I don't know if I'm actually going to get drunk. Like, is this going to be fun? Like, and it was. And I enjoyed it. And this video is going to take forever to upload. So I'm going to start uploading it now. I'm going to be uploading it when I'm drunk. <laughs> I love you guys. Honestly, this doesn't happen often. You guys should know that of all people. Get drunk sometimes. Get it in. Like, I don't give a fuck what you do, but have a good fucking life. Peace. Ugh. That should have been the happiest Valentine's Day she ever had. Getting rid of destiny. I've said it before, y'all. I just... I can't get into this destiny thing. Ugh. I didn't really care for Becky to start with, but Destiny takes the cake. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Bye, Amber Lynn. I hope you sober up and don't have a hangover tomorrow back in the past. Ugh, Destiny.